Hey everybody, I want to share something with you real quick. I have an update with the Solomon's Temple, but this time for all of Egypt. What I've done is I've put this in stages so you can see everything really easily. The first diagram here on the left is just the Temple of Solomon. And you might notice these two um, blue looking stars right here. And you'll notice that that line, that horizontal line, goes right through those. And notice it's called the door. Okay because that's the door from the spinal column if you notice that the skull is actually resting on those two stars and so that is where the actual spinal column goes into the skull and that's the reason that this is the door the tepareth you see right here number six at the high part of that you see the, in, the incense altar that's located where the heart is supposed to be inside here the Holy of Holies is located at Kether on top of the Tree of Life. The root chakra that you see right here, you'll notice that the root applies to right in the middle of where the root is. The sacrum that you see right here starts right at the entrance to the temple. This right here is the sacral area and it's actually the very top of the sacrum. Here's Tepereth, and here's what they call the Ark, which is actually moving through here, and then it goes through the door into the skull. You have the two hemispheres of the brain, and then you have the Holy of Holies, which is the pineal gland. And you'll notice that the cap of the skull is taken off, just like it is in the Temple of Luxor. This is correct. I'm going to show you all of Egypt. First of all, I just show you Egypt and the Nile itself. You're going to notice too that there's some very specific marks. If you see where this ends right here in phrase right before it ends, that is the tip of the coccyx. And you'll notice that it's right in line. This right here, this area, is where Temple Elephantine is and that's associated with the root. And that's right here. Here's where your coccyx starts and you go all the way up here to this area right here and if you move straight across that's where Abidos is. So this whole area right here of the sacral area you have uh, the Temple of Luxor and you have Abidos right here. Right here where this incense altar is at the very high part of the heart which is right here I need to find out what, the, what is there but I believe it's Hermopolis if I'm not mistaken. Right here, you have the door. The door corresponds to where it opens up into the skull, and that is where the pyramid of the brain is located. Just to refresh your memory, we know from the cathedral art and looking at God the Father, and we can see right here that the air chambers match what we see on the slopes of the pyramid, that that is right at the base of the skull, where his skull is resting is actually right on top of the base of the pyramid. And when we apply that to the actual MRI of a skull, we find that it's correct, as well as uh, these air chambers moving down and following the line of the, uh, the skull and the vertebra, with the spinal column going right down the center and everything in line, including the, uh, the king's chamber right here associated with the pineal gland. Notice how there's a slight gap between the top of his head and the top of the pyramid, which is exactly what you see right here. His head slightly uh, is above the two air chambers, which is exactly what's going on right here. And so the pyramid is associated with the head. And right here is where the pyramids are located. They're located right here. And so when we move across, now we take a look at the body. So Elephantine is right here, right where the root is. Here's where your sacrum starts. You see the frayed area and it kind of comes down into a point. It comes all the way up and right here, this is where Abidos is. You can see that it follows the line of the spinal column until it gets to be until it gets right here. We're in the stomach area. 
and the very top of the sacrum area, the sacral area, is where you have a bead S. And right here I have the uh, Temple of Solomon actually on top of Egypt showing all of the, the lines. Let's take a look. So here's Elephantine right here. This is our root. Right here is where the temple starts. That's the start of the coccyx. Coming up right here is where Abidos is. Right here you can see the faint blue uh, incense altar. So I believe it's Hermopolis right there if I'm not mistaken. So shoot it with a heart. And then right here you have the line going across right on top of where the pyramids are. And right smack dab in the middle of the one is Busiris. You might also notice that this is wider at the top and it kind of mimics the, uh, the shape of the Nile Delta. And then this is actually with this, the skeleton on top of it. And you can see how the Nile runs along the spinal cord and you can see where these areas are. So this actually is where Abidos is. And here's your root. Here's Elephantine. Here's the beginning of the sacrum. So as you can see, all of these things line up. And these temples that were associated to these areas, these various areas of the Nile, now you know why they were speaking of them in allegory the way that they were. Because this interesting phenomena of the, the body uh, found in nature like this, the nervous system found in nature. It doesn't stop here. There's actually a larger fractal um, where this whole person's body from his brain to his sacrum, right, or the tip of his coccyx right here, uh, actually becomes the, uh, the brain stem of a larger head. You have these fractals within fractals and I believe that's one of the things that the pyramids were actually showing us. So this area that's the trapezium, excuse me, that's the Nile Delta right here, actually becomes the triangular area that surrounds the pineal gland on a larger skull. And I'll show you that in another video. But nature seems to follow the pattern of the human body. And that's the reason I believe that the Bible said that uh, you know, man was created in God's image. And you will find that it's a lot more than just human men, but the atom of the red earth, which is the first atom. And that is, I believe, the, the atom cabinet, and we also see it down into the earth. The earth itself actually resembles, um, if you zoom out from Egypt, where this area is the pineal gland, and you zoom all the way out, um, and that's one of the things I showed you in Anthropos, um, that you see this, this fractal type uh, pattern of the nervous system from smaller to larger, almost like Russian dolls piled inside each other. And I'll show that to you in another video, but I wanted to show you all of Egypt here real quick. You guys take care and I'll talk to you soon.